And you see the memes on the internet, like, you don't want to talk to the guys at GNC. They're only going to sell you the stuff that that you're going to make money off of. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's like, I I don't care. Like, I just want something different because I I tend to use the same shit and my body gets used to it. That's what happens with pre-workout. And and I I talked to him. I was like, what's some new stuff? Because, you know, anything that you like is most likely not going to be on the shelf next month because they take everything off. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's very true. And it's like, I have a little bit extra cash. I don't mind spending, like, 35, 40 bucks on some pre-workout. As long as it works, and because I got some pre workout off uh, Amazon, and it's like uh, Engine or something like that, and didn't do shit for me, and it oh, sucks wow. when I pay for pre workout and doesn't do anything for me. See, I try to stop using, so I try not to use pre workout mm-hmm. while I'm trying. I know I should. Um, <clears throat> I mostly count on my music to do its job, mm-hmm. and and eight out of ten times it works. Um, but God, man developing a tolerance to pre-workout is kind of ridiculous it's like Mm -hmm. the number one complaint from anybody i know that takes the gym serious yeah because you know your body like right away it's like shit motherfuckers would be on three scoops not feeling a thing yeah and i think a lot of you know so just don't cycle off like you have to you kind of have to treat pre-workout the same way those guys treat freaking steroids actually yeah yeah you have to cycle off despite what you think you know considering how i look i've never actually touched the stuff i've always just been pre-workout and and freaking eating protein and Mm -hmm. consuming protein making my shakes i make a shake like i have a freaking um like not it's not a blender it's one of the uh the ones that you turn upside down and it mixes. I forgot oh, what the fuck it was uh, it's called. It's new to me. I yeah, mean. but it's it's a cool mix. It has a cup itself, so I don't have to dirty any more dishes. I can just mix it, take a thing off, put another lid on it. And but I always drink some before I go to the gym, so I have something yeah, yeah. in me. Yeah, yeah. And then I, I I take that with me. It sits there, and then when I'm done, I immediately drink it. And I mm. put that I put like kale in it, some carrots with mm. uh, protein powder, and some uh, frozen um, blueberries fr- or something. Yeah, blueberries or strawberries mm-hmm. uh, to add to it and stuff, and some almond milk I throw in there with uh, diluted with water. So it's like so it's nice and full. So it's a decent amount. And I have my vegetables that I typically don't get otherwise. Normally. Yeah, yeah. And I still eat vegetables like later for dinner. Probably my healthiest things is that shake and my dinner. Or the, the rest of the day is just, you know, a big bag of garbage. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but no, <laughs> <laughs> I just eat bags of garbage all day. But, um, awesome. Yeah, but, uh, but no, like the pre workouts, like, you know, because when you get a decent pre workout and you try it and you feel it, like, because mm-hmm. this one, I started, this was the first for me. I started feeling it in my butt cheeks. Like, weird. It, yeah. I was oh in my the car God, that's weird because I have the system as to when does I your take girl my, know huh I, you, I told her yesterday uh, she thought it was really weird okay good <laughs> take that world yeah but uh because usually <laughs> you take a pre-workout you typically especially with the jack 3d back when they had it um, oh yeah I yeah. would feel it in my arms and that mm-hmm. was like the first time I really felt tingles in mm-hmm. my arms and stuff I was like I'm fucking itchy mm-hmm. and stuff and I would take uh, like other pre-workouts and I'll feel it. I'll tend to feel it like in the back of my head being bald. I always feel everything on top of mm. my head. And um, I just start feeling a little bit itchy and that's from just my skin being dry. Mm. So I, that's why I always feel like I have to do cardio and build up a sweat before I get going doing anything. So <laughs> it's funny now that we're on this pre-workout story. Yeah. I have this since since you feel it in your butt, I'm yeah. going to tell you a horrible story. All right. This is great. I, I don't care. Everybody can fucking hear this story. Yep. Air it. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> so my buddy Kevin, uh, Kevin Callahan, uh, Wrecking Crew Training. Look him up. The motherfucker's a monster. He's He takes his life pretty serious when it comes to training. But mm-hmm. um, I remember I, I went to work out with him and his buddy Jake, and he picks me up. Now, this is, this is uh, I'm going to go ahead and say probably like two years ago. Mm-hmm. Um when I was, you know, I was in the gym, but I was just in there to uh, stagnate. Basically, I okay. wasn't. I wasn't there to to grow or lose. I was just to stay wrapped in the sa- yeah. sausage package just that I am. Maintain the routine. Exactly. So <clears throat> anyway, so he shows up to, or so he picks me up, and then we go to his crib, and then he, uh, then we take this pre workout. I don't know what the fuck it was called, <laughs> but we take this fucking pre workout, and this is the first time I've taken a pre workout. So I take this pre-workout, and he goes, uh, he goes, well, as I drink it, and we get in the car, and I'm just like, feel my, my heart's racing, and I'm just like, yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> He's like, all right, man, now, just so you know, I don't want you to be worried if you get a little BD. I'm like, BD? What the fuck is BD? He goes, baby dick. I'm like, what? 
He's like, yeah, the shit you take, it draws blood from everywhere. Like this, this pre-workout, everywhere. Everywhere that is that you aren't using, it draws blood straight to your muscles. So, you know, big dick. <laughs> and I'm just like, uh... He's like, don't be freaked out. I've had guys call me. It's okay. <laughs> this shit about, works. Like, dude, my dick is really small this, right now, bro. Shit, What'd you give me, bro? This shit works. <laughs> right? So, like... You're telling me this on the car ride after I've taken it to go to the gym and I've never taken a pre-workout before? <laughs> not, <laughs> not, before like, not before the salute and drink. Yeah, yeah. Just like yeah, yeah. right after. Yeah, just this, this – so this tragic comedy that it, is called BD. No, it, it, it just makes me think of that Chappelle show where he's riding with uh, Wayne Brady, son. And yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's yeah, yeah. like, you know, I didn't know you like to get wet. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yes. So – as he runs this training day moment on me, yeah, it's like I can work out forever. Yeah, essentially on this fucking pre workout. I don't know what the shit was. Plus, it was my first time, and it works for him. Mm-hmm. And he is like immune to all types of caffeine. I swear to God. Yeah. But either way, it works for him. It worked for Jake, and clearly, it's working for me because I think I can fly. Yeah. So we're at this gym for like two. Fuck Red Bull. Yeah. We're, we're at this gym for, like, two fucking hours, man. And, like, just getting it in. And I'm lifting weight that I thought I couldn't lift. So, don't get me wrong. It does its fucking job. Mm-hmm. It's just that I think I knew what it was like to be a girl for, like, two hours. Yeah. <laughs> a really Have intense, nothing down there to worry a really, about. A really <laughs> intense, a really <laughs> intense, strong woman <laughs> who don't need no man, apparently. <laughs> Don't but, need no stick to rule her world. But finally, well, clearly I wasn't trying to get laid or anything that mm-hmm. day at all. But it, it did finally go away, and I'm like, oh, thank God. But it, that was just so bizarre to me. Yeah. It was so weird. But the pre-workout worked. You know, yeah, I'm not. It works. I'm like, whatever. I just, I'll never get over. Yeah. Like, this is... This is that shit that a wrestler would tell you in a shoot interview. Like, yeah. that, that was my most shoot interview story I got. Yeah. <laughs> hey, man, I just don't want you to be worried in case you get BD. Yeah, Jesus BD. Christ. BD? <laughs> Baby dick. That should be on a t-shirt, among a lot of things. <laughs> don't suffer from BD. Just yeah. lift heavy, bro. <laughs> yeah. Ah, but no, man. but yeah, that um, just that feeling you get from taking pre-workout for the first time. It's like, usually what guys chase, just like the same way people will chase like that first high. Yeah. Off yeah. Of, like, it, taking it, certain drugs. It really it really is, man. Working out is, is an addiction all its own. It's mm-hmm. just one that's good for you, yeah. depending on how you do it. Yeah. Um, and sometimes it can just be like, mostly like a placebo effect, but sometimes things actually work. Yeah, sometimes yeah. you just like it, it all it takes is just drinking this little shot of stuff with powder in it yeah. to make you believe that you can actually go through your workout and i sometimes exactly. feel like that's the case and the first time i take like a new pre-workout i tend to feel it mm-hmm. um actually do feel it other than it just being in my head so yeah. I'm, I'm aware of like both worlds i just mm-hmm. uh i just enjoy the routine of taking pre-workout something feel like getting that feeling of itchiness pushing me yeah, and yeah. then the itchiness kind of goes away once i like start like i still feel it in me but the itchiness is gone once like my body starts getting like, so now you're moist. not but now you know it's like your body craves that pump so once mm-hmm. once you're pumped once you feel the sore you're just like oh yeah there it is i, I crave it especially Daddy like the soreness that like i always i always tell myself ah, i don't need it today but then it's like i really like it is freaking my abs being sore like granted it's like the way i probably have more body fat than i really want mm-hmm. so like but the thing is, I have abs there. I think it's because of the way my spine is. It pushes my stomach out more. <laughs> so it always, my soul. I got freak abs, man. Yeah. So it's like, I see my abs. I see they're there. But it's like, if I didn't, if I had probably about like 10% body fat, I would be completely shredded. I know it. So uh, <laughs> like, like I, once again, I'm trying to paint a picture for the audience here. Like, <laughs> like I said, so this guy is said, Essentially, we're talking about video games and him eating a bag of garbage. And mm-hmm. also, we're talking about how this asshole in front of me is saying, I like it when my abs are sore. I don't have, you know, I could be a lower fat content, mm-hmm. but you still have abs. Right now, you're better than most people. So, I think, just, I think, I think just, for me, <laughs> be humble, asshole. <laughs> I think for me, uh, it's more like I want to see my obliques. 
And I think that's where like the whole body fat comes. Right, in. right, right. I, I want to see my obliques because my all these years I've never been able to see my obliques, and I just have abs because my back pushes out my stomach. So you say? Yeah, Continue. and. Uh, <laughs> At least that's how I feel because I always feel like I walk like this sometimes, yeah, yeah, and I feel yeah. like my gut is bigger only because of my spine. Well, it's a, it. well, it's at least you don't suffer. Also, uh, one of my favorites. Shout out to Kevin once again. Uh, favorite lines I've ever heard was uh, at least you don't suffer from ILS, which is imaginary lat syndrome, ah. which is the fucking guys that walk around with their arms hoisted up. Yeah, and it's like, dude, there's nothing under there. Yeah, no, <laughs> you're not I've resting seen, anything. I've I've trained a dude that was like that. And he wore a uh, a belt. Like he was really skinny. He looked like he did. He looked like type that does physique competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. he, you know, he's not like big or whatever. But he looks at me, and it went back when I was doing personal training, it's like, dude, I want to look like you. And I was like, okay, it took me ten years though. <laughs> <laughs> you're eighteen. You ready? So you know, when you're twenty eight, you'll be set. He was but, like, nah, bro, I'll just walk. I, I'll yeah. last. Huge, huge yeah. case. Yeah, and I told him all the things that he needs to do to get big and all that stuff. But he was a smoker too, and I told him, dude, you need to stop smoking. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like he couldn't. At man, eighteen, too. Yeah. yeah, and he couldn't, and he was in good shape, but like he just couldn't maintain like uh, like his rest periods are way too long because he just couldn't breathe. Oh wow! Word. Because like I do a lot of supersets, and oh, like okay. especially when I'm That'll grouping muscles together, or uh, if I'm just doing chest, I'll group like a bench press with some push ups or some cable flies with right, some pullovers right. and all that shit. Right. And I. Like I was, you know, working out with him. It's like we were probably getting one workout in, like maybe a, like three sets or four sets in a half hour, and that's oh, it. Wow. And it's oh. like, fuck, I have to schedule a whole hour with this guy yeah, just to just, do a half hour workout yeah, in yeah, an hour. In an hour. Where? But um, but no, but he was one of those dudes that just like walked around with the imaginary lats. Yeah, like yeah. he, he had decent lats, but like they they weren't as big as yeah, you're making them yeah, be. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. then he and. I ha- and I've learned a lot of things that like a freaking belt, you know, for like you usually wear if you're going heavy on a squat or you're doing yeah. deadlifts. Um, it's not necessary to wear all the time. Yeah. And he was wearing it through his entire workout. Yeah, oh my just God. So there, can there, look. Are, there are a lot of guys who do that shit. Yeah. When yeah. it's like you I've only do it. that when you're going excessive, not. I like the guy. My, man, my favorite, my favorite guys are the guys that walk into the gym and they look like they're fucking pro wrestlers. Yeah. But they wrestle for CZW, so they'll come in with like a fucking weight belt and their shirt, and they'll come in with gloves, and yeah. then they'll come in with elbow pads, and oh, I'm God. just like, bruh. <laughs> you, you know that shit. It's it's just funny. It's like clearly that dude is going to the bench, yeah. and then he's going to deadlift. Yeah. Like that's why I'm here. This is my mission. Here is my gear. Behold. <laughs> you know. He's like, well, I got these for elbow drops, yeah. and I got these because I'm a champion, yeah. and I got these gloves because it makes me look cool. Yeah. Uh, and the belt on my shoulder because it makes me feel like a champ. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Dude, yeah, yeah, I just oh, yeah. that shit's hilarious. 